Now, it's no secret that ever since the earliest days of movie making, there has been an ever-expanding catalog of iconic scenes and sequences that remind us of why we love going to the movies. I'm talking about things like the show me the money scene from Jerry Maguire, or the iconic you can't handle the truth scene from A Few Good Men. Hey, be honest, have you seen that movie or do you just know the reference? You see what I mean? The point is that there are some moments committed to film that simply make the movie special. And in this exciting new series here on Joe Blow Originals, we are going to be taking a look at some of those moments and figuring out what makes them great. And I thought to kick things off, we'd start with something very on brand for us at Joe Blow and talk about Sylvester Stallone. Yo. I'm talking about a scene that's been referenced. It's been paid homages. It's been memed, mimicked, mocked. It's been plain ripped off. I'm talking about the Rocky training montage. That's right, folks. So before we get into it, make sure you punch the like button and KO those. <laughs> I'm Keir Gomes with Joe Blow Originals, and you're watching Scene Breakdown. Let's go. 1976's Rocky, directed by John G. Avildsen and starring Sylvester Stallone, who also wrote the movie. This is a true underdog tale. If you haven't seen it, it is the story of Rocky Balboa, who is a small-time boxer in Philadelphia. Well, he gets the rare once-in-a-lifetime chance to battle it out for the heavyweight title and become the champion. We really end up rooting for Rocky, as it does seem that life is mainly working against him in this movie, and in the context of this scene, this is pretty much Rocky. Rocky needing to rise to the occasion from rock bottom. He's seen some trials and tribulations thus far. This is really the training montage where he's getting into shape to go to what would be seen now as like the final battle. It's iconic for so many reasons and we are going to be breaking down those reasons right now. So let's get into it. <laughs> I get excited every time I hear that song. This song is probably like on your dad's workout playlist or something. It's definitely on mine. He's got those bricks in his hands running on the train tracks. Now this is actually an interesting point. Uh, this entire montage, all these scenes where you see Rocky jogging through Philly, just kind of, you know, running with the bricks in his hands or whatever, uh, they did all of this completely guerrilla style, which what that means is they didn't have any official license to be shooting there. They didn't have any permits. They had nothing. All they had was the crew that they had <laughs> and the equipment that they had and Sylvester Stallone running like hell to get these shots. And I think that that automatically adds a lot of merit to this scene, because when you watch it within the context of this movie, you're already really rooting for Rocky. And then knowing that this is a team of people that had to do this quick, they had to get the shots that they could get before they got kicked out or arrested or ticketed or fined or however it works. It just makes, I think it makes, knowing that makes watching this a lot more, you know? So let, let's keep it going, but I love it. I love this part right here. Doesn't this guy like he throws Rocky an apple or something? <laughs> Everybody loves him. Now I wonder, that must have obviously been a stage hand or a, an extra or something, right? That threw him the apple. We've definitely seen this memed before. <laughs> if you <laughs> if you wanna just if you wanna feel bad about yourself, I would also recommend watch this training montage after you skip the gym for a couple of weeks. Uh, it, it, it's not going to motivate you. It's going to make you feel <laughs> bad <laughs> about yourself. <laughs> I don't know if you've, if you've ever tried a speed bag, you know, keeping it going like that with both hands is not easy. And we're back to feeling bad about ourselves. Can you do this? Comment down below if you can do the arm behind the back push up. The physical shape that you'd have to be, or still in. Sylvester Stallone's still in great shape. I'm watching Tulsa King right now. Incredible shape. The pain on his face. I'm gonna pause it here too. So this is another thing that I really love. Apart from like one line uh, that somebody else says, there's no dialogue in this entire montage. And it still remains to be one of the most powerful scenes in the movie, if not the most powerful scene in this movie. And it's because of the physical acting that Sylvester Stallone brings to this. This is a mont. We're seeing him do all of this stuff for real, probably multiple takes of it. So he's tired. He's feeling the burn. Literally, he's feeling it. And I think that that really translates into the takes that they went with for this movie because you see it on his face. He's struggling. He's sweating for it. This is everything for him, this moment. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that as we get closer to the end. Uh, is there some really interesting trivia facts 
coming up. Let's keep it going for now. I mean, <laughs> we've all been there, right? We've all been there. You got somebody picking on you, you got a bully or some dude at the movies and won't shut up and what do you, what do? You, do? You, you go to your local deli and you train. <laughs> they let you walk right in the back and punch as much frozen meat as you can possibly punch until your hands fall off. They do that. I'm saying this from experience. Don't try that. And we're back to it. We're back to feeling bad. I love it. It's a good reminder, you know, they just keep looking you in the face and going, what kind of shape are you in? Because we can do this. The relief right here when he sits down like this. The smile. <laughs> this is probably one of, uh, I would say maybe one of my favorite shots ever. <laughs> in all of the Rocky series, maybe, at least. I love this shot right here, this tracking shot. And it's because you can see if you watch it, his legs just start picking up pace. He starts running faster and faster. The camera, like, the composition doesn't change, which is awesome. But he's just hauling it. Oh, man, I love it. And with no permits, you know he probably just had to run out of there. There's probably a cop or a security guard <laughs> behind him on a golf cart. Let's rewind this real quick. I apologize. So this is where we're gonna talk more about, I gotta pause it again, I know, I know. This is where we gotta talk about Garrett Brown, the cinematographer who specifically helped with this training montage. Uh, you guys might know, if you're into film or whatever, you might know Garrett Brown as the inventor of what we know as Steadicam. So those tracking shots where you're running alongside somebody and instead of getting all the jolt and jerking motions or jitters from holding a camera handheld and running, he invented the, the rig that keeps the camera steady, but you can run alongside somebody and your footsteps don't move the camera. The reason why that's so significant is that the device that they use to capture it, that they used for this specific shot, was only invented months before this movie and not for the movie. Garrett Brown supposedly like, you know, he invented this, he tested it by having his girlfriend run down the steps here at the, this is the Philadelphia Art Museum, it's all still there. He filmed her running down the stairs to test out his Steadicam, and that test footage was seen by John G. Avildsen, and he hired Garrett Brown and his device to film this. So he invented this device, and a couple of months later, he's following Sylvester Stallone up the stairs of the Philly Art Museum to film the most iconic shot in the entire movie, and maybe the most iconic shot of the 1970s. That is so f***ing cool. I love that. I love that. Okay, this is the this is the final shot, very important one. Let's watch it. He's running in chucks too. Bold. Bold move. Absolutely iconic. Look at that cinematography. I don't want to sound old here, but nowadays you definitely would see that on like a green screen or at the very least like, you know, a sound stage that was built. This was all real Philadelphia, the real weather that day. It looks cold. You can see how relieved Rocky is when he finally gets to the top of those steps. It's so triumphant and it's all practical. And I love it. And I think that that just really adds that element to this. Uh, and as well, you guys can see, uh, if you've ever been to Philly, you can go to the Philadelphia Art Museum. At the top of these steps, there is a statue uh, of our boy, Rocky. You can go there and just take pictures with it. People do it all the time. I've even heard some people that we work with here at Joe Blow have done that very thing. Have you ever done it? If so, comment down below, because I would love to know. Does his little dance here. I love it. I love to, you know, Will Smith maybe is associated with like a black suit from Men in Black. You got, uh, you know, Christoph Waltz, he's iconic for, you know, always playing a villain. Rocky Balboa, Sylvester Stallone, he'll be recognized for wearing a gray sweatsuit for the rest of his life. The most comfortable icon you can imagine. <laughs> so that is the scene, and I really think watching it over and over again over the years, there's one thing that really holds up, and it's just the fact that in that moment, you feel really proud of Rocky <laughs> when he finally gets through those steps. And all they had was a sequence of unlicensed shots or unpermitted shots. They had the physical acting of Sylvester Stallone to portray all of the emotions of that journey from rock bottom to the top of those steps, literally from bottom to top. And then you add on top of that an amazing soundtrack put together by Bill Conti for this movie. Automatically, that's a very promising setup. And then when you watch it and it holds up and it lasts the test of time, 
that's all because of these little elements. I think another thing that really makes this what it is, is that there's a layer of authenticity that goes into it. Uh, Sylvester Stallone was broke before Rocky. You know, he was working whatever jobs he could, odd jobs doing whatever. He had something like $200 in his bank account or something like that. Uh, and so this movie for Sylvester Stallone was the impossible odds. This was him fighting for his own championship title, so to speak. And th there's nothing that translates more than the truth. And not to sound pretentious, but I think Sylvester Stallone has so much truth in this performance. And there's no scene that better demonstrates it than this one. It honestly makes me want to do two things. First, it makes me want to fly all the way to Philly so I can take a picture with the Rocky statue. And then it also makes me want to hit the gym and do something more physical. Well guys, thank you so much for checking out this scene breakdown. Have you seen Rocky? Do you love it? Let me know in the comments. What's your favorite Rocky training montage? Now seeing as this is the first episode, if you guys did enjoy this, please do leave us a little like on the video. It'll let us know that you want to see more and feel free to let us know what other suggestions you have for iconic movie scenes that we can break down next. Thank you all again for tuning in and we will see you next time on Joe Blow Originals Scene Breakdown.